Welcome to the first class of the Creative Question Solution series and in this video I am going to explain one creative questions and then similarly I shall upload more two more uh, tutorials based on the reflection of light creative question solutions as because you know that I have uploaded a series of videos based on the reflection of light and I explained almost everything uh, in SSC level or O level because uh, there are some things actually which is uh, which which needs more explanations in HSC level or in A level because there is no limitations of study but in SSC level I completed uh, the topics and the, the contents that is explained in reflection of light now if you see that in the creative questions what type of questions uh, is available Think about this. Suppose this is a figure is given only that a, an object AB is placed in between uh, the pole and the focus. You can see simply that, that the object is placed in the position number 6. If you can remember the tutorial that I have uploaded on the rule of 6, so you know where would be the image of the object. And simply there is given PC 80 cm and PB the distance is 30 cm. So what is the data is given that is my concern. So PC, what is PC? C is, C is the center of curvature. So CP is the radius of the, of the mirror. And you see PB is is the is the distance of object so I, I know this is actually you so what is the question so you know that in creative questions a and B can be anything anything what is reflection of light what is the law of reflection what is concave mirror what is convex mirror what is a magnification so any questions related of reflection of light can be in question number a so that is very simple informative answer so I hope those of you you know the definitions of all definitions of this chapter you might answer correctly and the B number question is simply something like explanatory in a small way so I hope you can do it so my main focus is to solve question number C and D because if you understand the question number C and D properly I hope you can solve your own questions from next so the question number C is determine the magnification of object AB so what should be the magnification and what is the equation of magnification we know that M is actually minus V by U because I have uploaded a video on magnifications where I explain what is the use of this V and U and another is M is the length of image length of F or you can say that L prime by L so which equation should I use if this is the questions that the answer is that depending on data so the data is I have been given the distance of the object not the length of the object so I should not consider these equations here because in my data I, I don't see that the length of the object is given I see that only the u is given so if I have u and if I can find the v then using these equations I can find the magnification okay so how I can find it out so as PC is R, so we know that F is equal R by 2. We know that the focus is R by 2. So as this is given 80 centimeter by 2, so it is 40 centimeter is the focus. And U is given, that is 30 centimeter. Now we can use the mirror equation, which is 1 by V plus 1 by U is 1 by f now we can use it so 1 by v is actually 1 by f minus 1 by u so f is 40 minus u is 30 so how we can do that we simply can find this is actually 120 so it would be 3 minus 4 
So this is simply minus 1 by 120 centimeter. So you know that the value of 1 by V is 1 by 20 minus. So the value of V is just 120 centimeter. So as you see here is minus is the answer. So you must know one thing that the distance you kept here that is positive so the image will be in this direction that is negative. So image will be on the other side of the mirror because this minus is expressed that. So that is very important. Do you really understand the concept if there is a plus and minus rise? So what is the value of m which is minus v by u? Now you think you got minus 120 and you got u which is 30 so in both cases you will have centimeter and we know that the magnitude of the magnification express that how much larger or the smaller is the image is comparatively to the object so here magnification will give us a simple idea that that is minus minus plus that is 4 so this is positive 4 so this positive means the object is virtual and erect if the value of magnification comes like minus then we can say that the image is e image is real and inverted but this positive means this is virtual and direct okay so how it will happen i mean if if the question is uh, prove it through the ray diagram then what we could say that we can say that okay i'm just doing it with my own hand it might not be perfect so okay uh to write in the other side so i hope you understand this is four okay so so i'm, I'm just drawing it here if you understand it well so this is uh, uh, the image i mean the mirror uh, and this is f and this is uh, so if this is the object then a parallel line falls in the uh, in the mirror and then it will come back to the f and another line will come across to the center of curvature and then they will they will actually join here so uh, erect and magnified image will be formed in the other side of the mirror so if you draw it with your own pencils and other things so i hope this is more perfect will happen but the image should be like this so what we can have this four value so the value is that if if the the length of this object was four centimeter then the length of image would be 16 centimeter and the values plus means we, we thought that it was a positive distance so it is a negative distance so that means that that means the value of plus means the, the image is virtual and erect. So I hope you understand how to think about this. Now the another question is that, that if the object, D number questions, so I, I solved number C, this is 4. So the answer is the image would be 4 times larger than the object. The question of number D is if the object is placed 50 cm away from the optical center of its from the pole then what will be the position, size and nature of the image explained with the help of ray diagram. So if in the questions it is mentioned with the ray diagram then we have to draw. If they say that may explain mathematically, then we have to do it like this. So the question number D says if the object is placed 50 cm away from the pole. Now you need to think, where is the 50 cm? So, where is the 50 cm? So if we say that if I draw this figure and this is the uh, mirror and this is the pole, I need my scale 
what is my scale? Okay, so if I say that this is uh, okay, so this is the F and this is C, suppose. Okay, we know that the focus is 40 centimeter and this is 80 centimeter. If it is 40, so this is F and this is C, we know that distance is 40 from these. So the 50 centimeter say it, so it will be here. It will be here. So what we know, this is P. So we say that PF is 40 centimeter. The object was placed in 50 centimeters. So U is 50 centimeter and PC that is given 80 centimeter. Now you think through the ray diagram if we draw that where the image will form. So if it is a parallel ray is fall into the into the mirror, then it will reflect through the focus. So it will reflect through the focus. And then on the other side, when it comes through the focus, then sorry, it will be like that, then it will be it will be parallel to the to the principal axis. So you can see that the image is forming here. So the figure of image would be, would be like this. So the image would be like this. So this is the proof of the ray diagram. If the question asked that to draw it the ray diagram, my picture is not accurate, but things will be similar. So if you draw it with your scale and pencil, with your compass, I think this would be much more accurate. So, this is the answer of D, but if they ask for uh, doing it mathematically, then what will happen? So, we know this is F and we know that U is given. And we know that it is placed in 50 cm. So, where the object will form? So, if I say that 1 by V plus 1 by U is 1 by F, so we are searching for V. We have u. So we say that 1 by v is equal 1 by f minus 1 by u. Now you think f is 40, right? f is 40 minus, so the object was placed in 50 centimeter. Now you think about it. So it will be like 200, okay? So it will be 5 minus 4. So it would be like 100, sorry, 1 by 200. So if you know that 1 by V is 1 by 200, then V is 200 centimeter. So now what we can have the idea that where this is 40, so this is again 40. So together this is 80 centimeter, okay? So the image will form, so if it is 80, so the distance of image is 120 centimeter. So together the image will be formed here at 200 centimeter. So it's 80, P to F 80, if this is A and B, suppose A prime, B prime, then P A prime, P A prime was 200 centimeter. And now if the question is again to find the magnification, now you see this is 200. So now you know that m equals minus v by u. So you use minus 200 by 400, sorry, 40. So u is 40. So you see this is minus 5. So this minus 5 expresses that this image is 5 times larger then the object, if the object is 4 cm height or the length, then the image would be 20 cm. And this minus means the object will form an image which is real and inverted. This is a real image because, I mean, uh, I mean uh, the, the reflected rays joined together. So this is a real image. So we got the same understanding if we know the concept clearly. So I hope you understand 
this process and to think about it. And in the next video, I'm coming up with the second uh, type of creative questions, which is pretty similar, but I hope if you if you practice it long at your own brain and with the sharp ideas, physics is much more interesting. And it gives you some vibrations of nature. So that is the process. You can think about it. I'm coming up with the next video, the creative solutions part two. See you. Take care.